NASA and Boeing are working on more launches for Boeing Starliner spacecraft. But this time, the challenge is not just technical problems. There is now also a serious problem with who is launching the spacecraft. Like the Dream Chaser space plane from Sierra Space, Boeing Starliner depends completely on rockets from ULA. And this is turning into a big issue. ULA is having delays and a growing list of missions waiting to fly. This means Boeing's future Starliner flights could be stuck on Earth longer than planned. So the big question is, should Boeing start looking for a different and more reliable rocket provider like SpaceX? NASA still supports the Boeing Starliner program, even with all the past delays and technical problems. There is a good reason for this. Backup. NASA's commercial crew program was designed from the start to have two different spacecraft companies. That way, if something goes wrong with one, the other is still available. And that backup plan is becoming more important now. Some people are worried that political issues might cause problems for the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft in the future. SpaceX's Dragon has done very well, but problems between the U.S. President Donald Trump and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk have made people nervous. NASA has used Dragon for many years to send astronauts to the space station. If anything happens to that program, NASA must have another spacecraft ready. But right now, the only two backup vehicles, Boeing Starliner and Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, are not fully ready for use. So NASA is running out of time and needs to act fast. Boeing and their partner, Aerojet Rocketdyne, must first fix serious problems with the Starliner spacecraft. These include overheating thrusters and helium leaks. These problems were found during a recent mission with astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams. The mission was supposed to last one week, but ended up keeping them in space for nine months. Boeing says the fix is simple, but many people are still doubtful. After all, Starliner has had problems for more than 10 years. Boeing wants to complete its NASA contract for up to six astronaut missions, which is key to its financial future. If Starliner is fixed, NASA may approve an uncrewed test flight next year, followed by crewed flights by year's end. One major issue is the rocket. Using a cargo test flight would use up one of the last Atlas V rockets, which were saved for crewed missions. Boeing would then need a new rocket and a custom adapter to connect Starliner to it. Each rocket is different. They have unique connection points, systems for separating the spacecraft, and different shapes and forces. That's why Starliner needs a custom-made adapter for every rocket it uses. It must fit perfectly and also be strong enough to survive the ride into space. The adapter also includes an aeroskirt. This is a piece that helps control the airflow during launch. Without it, the rocket could become unstable. Boeing has already built one of these for the Atlas V rocket. They also added special parts during wind tunnel testing to improve airflow. On top of that, the adapter holds important electronics like power systems and data connections. These must match the rocket exactly. It's like trying to plug one brand of game controller into a different game console. It won't work without the correct connector. This becomes even more important when astronauts are on board. The adapter must work with Starliner's emergency escape system. This system can pull the capsule away from the rocket if something goes wrong during launch. But this escape system must also match the rocket perfectly. Boeing has said that Starliner was always meant to work with more than one rocket. They said it could fly on the Delta IV, the Falcon 9, and the new Vulcan Centaur from ULA. But that does not mean switching to one of these rockets is fast or easy. Each change needs a new adapter, more tests, and more approval steps from NASA. The Atlas V rocket is going away soon. Only a few are left, and they are already promised to planned missions. The most likely replacement is the Vulcan Centaur. It is the newest rocket from ULA and was designed to carry astronauts, including Starliner and Dream Chaser. Vulcan Centaur seems like a good match for Starliner, but it's not yet approved for crewed flights. NASA still needs to conduct safety checks, escape system tests, and reviews before giving the green light. Vulcan Centaur is already late in flying some very important missions for the U.S. military. ULA is moving slowly as it changes from Atlas and Delta rockets to Vulcan. As a result, there is now a long list of missions waiting for a launch. More than 24 national security missions are stuck waiting. 
On top of that, Sierra Space is still waiting to fly Dream Chaser for the first time, and Amazon has already booked 38 Vulcan launches for its satellite internet network, called Project Kuiper. Because of all this, the U.S. military is expected to get priority. The Air Force is the biggest customer for ULA. But even with this support, the Air Force is still unsure if ULA can build enough Vulcan rockets fast enough. Vulcan is supposed to fly its first national security mission soon, but the exact date is unknown. Dream Chaser's first mission, once planned for May 2025, is also delayed. This puts Boeing in a difficult situation. If they keep depending only on ULA, they cannot be sure when they will get another rocket. So now may be the time to look at another rocket provider. And SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket is the best choice, and Falcon 9 is reliable and is already approved by NASA for launching astronauts. Since 2020, NASA has used Falcon 9 to send astronauts to the International Space Station. Technically, Falcon 9 can launch the Starliner capsule but it would still need changes to Starliner and new approvals from NASA. Boeing and SpaceX are rivals, but cooperation is possible. SpaceX has launched satellites for competitors before, like Amazon's Project Kuiper, which competes with Starlink. Amazon had originally avoided using SpaceX. In 2021, Amazon signed deals with other rocket companies, including ULA, Ariane Space in Europe, and Blue Origin. SpaceX was left out even though it was the most active launch company at that time. In 2021, SpaceX completed 31 launches. By April 2022, they had already done 11 more. Meanwhile, ULA only launched twice in early 2022 and had done five missions in all of 2021. Amazon's choice to avoid SpaceX surprised many people, including investors. In 2023, some Amazon shareholders filed a lawsuit. They said Jeff Bezos and Amazon's CEO Andy Jassy made a bad business decision by avoiding SpaceX. The lawsuit said the reason was personal, that Bezos did not want to work with Elon Musk. But things changed. In December 2023, Amazon signed a deal with SpaceX for three Falcon 9 launches. The first of those flights happened in July 2025. SpaceX launched 24 Kuiper satellites using a brand new rocket booster. It landed successfully just over eight minutes later. That mission added to Amazon's growing number of satellites in space. By then, Amazon had launched three groups of satellites. The first two launches used ULA's Atlas V rocket. Now, with the help of SpaceX, Amazon had 78 satellites in orbit. Amazon needs to have over 1,600 satellites working in space by July 30th, 2026, to meet rules from the U.S. Federal Communications Commission. For the July 2025 mission, the 24 satellites were first released into a lower orbit. Then, ground teams in Washington began moving them up to their final orbit at about 630 kilometers. Amazon originally avoided SpaceX and signed launch deals with ULA, Ariane Space, and Blue Origin. But after delays, Amazon signed a deal with SpaceX in December 2023 for three Falcon 9 launches. The first happened in July 2025, successfully placing 24 Kuiper satellites into orbit. So, what does this mean for Boeing? It means that even strong rivals can work together if the mission is critical enough. And right now, Boeing needs a reliable rocket more than ever. If they want to keep Starliner flying and finish the contract with NASA, turning to SpaceX may be the only real solution left. NASA needs both spacecraft programs, Dragon and Starliner, to stay strong. That way, the United States always has a way to reach space, no matter what happens. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.